I want to check the rice keyboard. Yeah. So C for create, uh, C for create, R, R for read, U for update, and D for delete. In HTTP, we call it get, post, put, and delete. Patch, head, and option. These are the options. So of course, get. What is the URL? This is the URL. Are you comfortable so far? Yeah. Okay. Now here you have options. Now these options only you can do if you really understand the HTTP request header, body, and uh, all the stuff like that. So I will request you to do read out a little bit of uh, programming side of protocol also. It will help you because here you have a request options. During the request, what you options you can provide. Some do you want to provide some header? Do you want to provide some cookies? Do you want to if this URL for accessing this URL? Do you need to provide authentication like certificate or something or HTTP basic authentication or something like this? So and query parameter. Do you want to provide parameter? Now query parameter. I'm not able to understand. Anyone have idea? Yeah, it would get appended after question mark in the URL. Wonderful. Yes. For example, let me put it in this way. This is the flip card. Okay. This is the flip card. Now I'll search for mobile. <laughs> Sorry. Bad search. Mobile. And now let's understand this URL. Okay. So these are the things you have to build the skills uh, because Datadog will not teach you this. They will give you all options, but so this is the so what is the endpoint? So your API endpoint is this. See, this is your API endpoint. Now with that query, this is your query. Query is this one, correct? And this whatever you see is a filter applied by default. Uh, okay, these all are filter. So there's one filter. There's one filter. There's another filter here. There's another filter. See that? So now this I was talking about the. Do you want to provide the parameter? So this is the query parameter. Understood now? Q means query. This is this is I query right to this endpoint. And they added this one uh, on enter. So this is the software default they made it. Actually. Are you understanding all of you? Yeah. So this is how you have to do that. Uh, so request body and the body always JSON will be there. Request join. So what you can pass here, you can pass that hyphen D. And if you, I think I just morning I also I did it. Here you see D D D. Very good. Here this is the this is the body part. But how do you pass it? This is the one document. So here this is what they are saying. Hey, do you want to pass it? Are you understanding all of you? Yeah, so right now it's not important for me. So this is the endpoint, and finally you want to tag it, whatever you want to tag it, and done. So get is the things, very simple right now. Now, next one is assertion. Anyone have idea what is assertions? Yeah, checking against some value, whatever it returns, if it's that value or not. So. Wonderful, so I think you guys know already. So here what happens in simple way, this is the URL. And uh, this is the URL. And when I hit on this synthetic monitoring, it generates some response. Okay, response. Now response will be stored somewhere. And after, based on the response, doing some check, check or test or verify, whatever you want to call it. Okay, verify if that response was as per your expectation or not. So that is called assertions. Okay, so what is the response called? This is called assessors. This is called assertion that very verify. So define verify. So if I am doing Rajesh Kumar, so what should I verify? So let's say I should have this text. Text. If this text is there on the response code, then okay. Or you can also do the title. Uh, where is that source? Source. 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 Huh, here. So now here, what is the title? So title for this page. If I am getting. Uh, this is the name. This is the this is the title. This is the title. Correct. So if you have something like this, this is called assessors. So what to do? So let's define the request. I did it and define assertion, new assertion. Now this you have to again spend some time. Whether you want to assertions at the body level, header level, response time, status code, what exactly? Let's do the body level. Body 
contains is is not does not contain da 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 contains what so right now i am doing not at the title uh, this is the text so response body do you have this text okay i am doing it like this okay but if you see header header will have a title you know you will get it okay so now this is the one assertion you can add as many assertions you want now the question is okay for this website which is rajeshkumar.xyz and these are the assertions which i said that means response should have a body should have a this content okay now but from which location you want to create traffic so uh, data dog has given you so many locations see here so america there is multiple location asia as a pacific emia now you say rajesh my location is not there then you can add your own locations also this is the containerization environment you'll have to create in that locations so you can create your own right now i'm not doing it but these are the sufficient for you so you can select one you can select all it's up to you okay i did it everything now how frequently should test so i think i'll have a no patience that's the problem so i'll go for uh, what is the minimum should be 30 seconds and one day so 30 second minimum i'll go for it okay and here define alerts condition so here if you read it it's a very self service thing retry test how many times zero times after 300 milliseconds in case of fail you can change this if you want and this one also now configure the monitor to test so here monitoring name what is the name of the monitoring so i'll just name it rajesh kumar uh, check okay rajesh kumar dot xyz check or something like that. okay and now the beauty of this is this email whatever you receive okay the second the email whatever you received you can also select that whom you want to send it so right now this is the email id i have uh, and all for it you can select this two times i made selected yeah select this and here are some of the options and set a permission whom you want to give access to this uh, uh, synthetic monitoring and create so what was the learning here you need you need to learn everything about http tcp uh, grpc ftp and also understood all of can, and where we can uh, pass the login credential login credential under the setting no i'll i'll create one more time just so here login credential here new test just see. here again i am showing you same one here you have a login credentials advanced options authentication got it all of you yes sir yeah so now let me check mine so it will take uh, 30 seconds to get the reports uh, i mean data as of now no data has been received now it will take 3 to 4 minutes to fill all this stuff so this is a synthetic monitoring you can create by the way there are mm -hmm. few more ways are there which you can try rajesh one question i had on that a test like in the authentication section i didn't see a jwt token it was accepting so let me, uh, let me check so if one, there's another way also okay so let me check and jwt token you need right yeah okay just let me check so what is the uh, protocol it would be https some url but the authentication should be like uh, jwt http let me check i am doubtful the token. authentication of the api should be through jwt token let me just check that because protocol i i don't remember everything uh, so super computer transaction as an http authorization header and uri request as a parameter so Or uh, such as HTTP authorization header, somewhere encoded claims transmitted registration format. Okay, so you can provide in the J. I mean this one in a header actually. You don't need to do that actually. So here you can provide. See here, here JSON object. So uh, I I need to check that. But if it is not there, then you have to provide in request body here. Yeah. Um, we don't pass in the request body. It should be in the header one field like authorization. It should be like uh, token and JWT token. But usually in, in Postman case... and all we see right the authentication type. What is the type? If it's a bearer or 
uh, it is a basic auth and all so uh, see here http basic auth is been given yeah. digest auth is given ntnl aws now you said i need gwt mm -hmm. yeah it should let be a bearer token yeah let, just a second let me see the format of it uh just a second uh format so header uh this is the payload this is the one this is your token right this complete huh. part would be a token it's kind of encoded value something huh. so in the header section it's in the json format you can pass see here this image in this format you can pass like this sure yeah we can proceed thank you yeah. so this is the one now let's see that results has come or not yes it has come so now you see that here the test is passing that's the reason it's green actually see here last run okay everything now you want to see the response time for the each 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 uh each uh, what do you say each uh, region each location you see that here because it's a too many you have to disable some of this and you know just only you see the tokyo so what is the response time oh that's good actually it has improved in the last demo it was saying 6 second actually i'm happy actually i mean i did not do anything but maybe server uh, upgrade has helped in those stuff see here. the different different let me cancel this ha huh, this is the one so see that everywhere is a passing so this reports you can based on that this report you can generate some alerts and dashboard so passed and failed now what i will do i'll do little bit of practice i'll go here and edit my test and here i'll see the assertions hey the content should be 16 years of experience no it should be real 17 i guess correct so 17 it should be and then finally update it now all the test i am expecting it response time you get it but the assertion should be failed i repeat the response time you get it the uh, the url is accessible but assertion is making it fail so let's wait for a few more seconds maybe 30 to 60 seconds and get it. email email also you'll get it alerts and all you can you have not set it up alerts so you'll get an email also so test set okay okay so just wait for it so like that you can create a synthetic monitoring and for this you need to understand the complete aesthetic pmo are you understanding all of you yes okay now what i'll do i'll just show you the ram also so ram what i said in a simple way ram what i what i said you you tell me remind me and then i'll do the same thing. in the ram what is the things i had to do all of you so remember the ram i said you have to insert the javascript code in your browser correct so in in your application web front correct no front end yeah so that's what i have to do so can i do that so go for the ram so let me refresh if it is failing ha huh. see here it started failing but it is not fully failed because of running still trying it will just wait for it few seconds okay so now guess let's go for the ram okay so here is the ram can you see my screen all of you this is ram real user monitoring yeah yeah and now you click here okay and uh, go for the new applications and now what kind of application you have so application the front end which you have in the javascript or android or ios i'm saying front end okay react or flutter so my front end for that website is in javascript uh, html and javascript and css so let's say rajesh kumar.xyz now 
here uh this is the javascript create a new ram applications now you see this is a what is that what is this what is this code anyone this is npm code actually this is javascript from N, uh, javascript but for npm i don't need it i need the front end javascript this is the front end javascript cdn so you can go for this one or cdn sync cdn async anything is okay for time okay so anything okay now what is a environment is a production and what is the service name rajesh kumar dada da everything is okay and this this code you remember that this code i will do what you know you have to embed in your front end each file which you want to monitor so right now i am going to the production server of rajesh kumar, rajesh kumar xyz which is which is here i'm logging to the server that server okay and can you see the font style i mean i cannot in, increase here in this because there's limitation in this can you see that the 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 the, the keyword the, yeah yeah okay yeah. so this is the website actually which is hosted in this one server where is index.html here it is so index.html go to the bottom section and this is the last session which i did so i'll just delete it okay this is a javascript you have to oh this is app dynamics code by the way this was not updated on app dynamics one so i'll just delete it because new demo what is the this code uh, this code is ha huh. this is the java recording uh, is what is that yeah yeah this is a guys this is the javascript which is a data dog last one was app dynamics that's a different tool i just support also and i'm deleting it just in front of you i'm clearing it just for you to get a little bit more confidence that i deleted it now what i'm going to do i'm going to sorry i'm going to embed my javascript which is here and paste it i hope i have not spoiled my home page which i'll check later right now it's not important and done guys i did it and finally in desktop html can i valid can i validate so how do i validate so first thing you go to rajesh kumar uh, .xyz that's applications open a browser go source search for data dog data dog somewhere bottom section uh it's not coming but here i see that oh no 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 okay this is the old code only so what is the problem this is a cache okay so just let me see in the new browser and go to the bottom section and here it is so this is the i just copy pasted the code whatever in front of you that is the code here you have a client token not api token i repeat client token versus api token both are different a client token is used for the rram api token for use for everything else application id and all such like this is my service name okay so done i copied this stuff now what i am going to do is i am going to back to the application list now you should see one application and the moment you hit on this application which i'm hitting right right now in front of you rajesh kumar dot xyz enter and this is a real rum real application real response time is being captured okay whatever the real things one more uh, time i'll browse two times three times four times five times and so on and just wait for 30 to 60 second and here you see five six time or something close to it so this is a real response time will be captured by data dog and you see here it started coming how many times i hit four times so far is recorded but maybe one or two more will come in sometime okay so this is the real user session how many user session four user session and you are getting it all this loaded time you will get it in some time just take some time to populate 
so here you got a rum monitored some end point and then here you got a synthetic test synthetic monitoring also done and for apm internal things you said already see the alert is triggered failing many places and all understood all of you understood all of kind you? of like to enable the rum monitoring at the time of code deployment to production only we have to include that code right wonderful good observation i did it manually just to show you that yes you have to embed in the cdn or front end uh, the front end is like npm uh, async cdn sync cdn or flutter or android app or something ios app these are the five tests is a front end okay any other questions guys okay so now i'll give you some time let's say 15 to 20 minutes you have a website any pick any website i don't care okay and using that website you create a synthetic monitoring and i will teach you one thing if you can do it anyone can tell me how can you set up a rum because i have a my own server access but do you have anything as such all of you hello no you think. have it you have it you have it think and tell me how can you also try rum anyone j meter no no j meter we don't need no in the rum you simply hit the through real user monitoring no? in this use our web server ha huh. see guys each one of you have a one machine each one of you have a http server installed each one of you have a index.html in place what you need to do just embed the javascript in that html and create a traffic through the data log that ip address is your uh, uh, your traffic i mean that uh, what is it ip address is your uh, domain name makes sense got it hello hello guys do you understand that what i am saying correct na rajesh uh, ram can you explain once again uh, so in the ram what happens real user monitoring for that we use ram for the enabling the ram you have to embed the javascript code in your application front end any user who is accessing through the browser that traffic see understand that when robot hit the website javascript is not loaded i repeat when robot hit the website javascript is not loaded then we say why because you are hitting robot hit at the ip address level network level but when user hit the website javascript loaded why because user is hitting the traffic through the browser robot is not using browser they use the some, some inbuilt java client or some different client written python or java or something getting open so browser when you hit the browser javascript load and javascript load so javascript the, the one which you embed is said okay i hit and i'll give you response and this is the response time that is what is being captured by data log and display at display at here are you understanding all of you hello hello guys i'm not sure i'm audible right yes you are someone has asked question yeah a little difficult to understand why we need to where we need to okay Just tell me the confusion by... faster then i'll be able to help you because you suddenly get uh, silence tell me what is the confusion so i can help 
no like uh, i understand the browser part because through the browser when we are hitting definitely the javascript is already embedded to it mm -hmm. whenever the real user hits it right mm -hmm. so uh, as part of this monitor setup we just need to embed it in the right. code okay yeah so see my questions to you simple i want to know hey tell me the response time when real user hit to your website endpoint then how do you gather it apm will get you no mm, apm will get. not get you that. now i'll say hey i don't know care about the real user but just i care about endpoint should be always active and some basic assertion should be always should be there so how do you do that and this should be done this traffic should be tested from 20 different locations and as at the every time every one minute so human cannot do this work for you only robot will do that's for synthetic monitoring simple correct now yep so it's like that. okay so now you have a server that you can use it go index.html what is the location for index.html in the http server anyone would like to tell me what is the location Warlib ww. I'll put it in the chat, guys. So yeah. Go ahead and try both. War. War. Sorry, bar ww html. That's the location of index.html, which you installed in the first day itself. So go ahead. I'll give you 15 minutes for this. After that, I'll talk about the other thing. Hello, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, excuse me. I'm sorry to interrupt you guys. Uh, hope you can hear my voice. Yes, we can. Thank you, Deepak. 
Uh, this is regarding the feedback link. Um, I'm sharing you the feedback link in the chat box. Uh, this, as this is a last day, it's a mandatory for everyone to, you know, share their feedbacks. Sure. We did but not did receive you... the ebook as well. Uh, yeah, I was about to say. Thanks, Deepak. Sure. <laughs> Sorry, uh, you're not able to access to the ebook. Yeah, I mean, we logged in. I think many of us logged in today morning. Might be. Uh, IDs we are yeah, we waiting for the end of the day. After the end of the day, you, you may get the access because it's the last trading, right? Okay, in case we don't. After, no, you will. Definitely okay. you will. Otherwise, you can coordinate, you know, to any of your, uh, your trainer. You, who's, I mean, you, you have anybody's number, contact number or somebody's? We don't. <laughs> we can and check with maybe Pramila Esther, I guess. Yeah, that, is, that will be better. She is the coordinator. She'll, she'll be the in-charge one anyways. You can just coordinate with Pramila. Sure. Thank you. And kindly submit your fair feedback. Uh, then confirm me by typing done in the chat box. One second. Uh, that is not the ID. Just uh, ignore that one. That is not a you know, feedback link. I'll just share you. Sorry. Uh, 